Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the People Show. Check the post for explanation. Brought to you by Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, I've talked about a lot of position groups on this Husker football team. Quarterbacks, running backs, receivers, tight ends, D-line, outside linebackers. Haven't hit them all yet. Going to hit those inside backers. Going to hit the, the big uglies up front, the offensive line, and uh, the secondary. I've not talked about the speedy guys in the back end who like to chat chat just a little bit with the wide receivers. Let's talk about the Huskers secondary and who we got coming back, who you can keep your eye on going forward. The old hats, the vets, if you will, and the young, new up-and-comers. Here we go. Let's light this candle. Coming back. Got a lot of experience. Okay. Senior starting safeties Deontay Williams and Markel Dismuke are both back for a sixth season. All right. A lot of experience there. Junior Cam Taylor Britt. Could have left early for the NFL. Very talented young man. He's going to be drafted at some point, but he's going to be back for the Big Red as well. Now, these guys have a total of 47 career starts between the three of them, and all combined total, they played in 91 games. All right, so those are guys we got coming back. Three of our four secondary guys are coming back. A lot of experience. All right, now, young players to watch. we got a, we got slots to fill, right? we got two safeties at a quarter. we got another cornerback slot to fill. Um, but before I go to that cornerback slot, keep your eye on Miles Farmer, okay? Because he's a safety as well. He's going to get some play time. All right. He made his first start versus Northwestern. And if you remember, he had two interceptions in that game and it felt like they were right off the bat. He made an immediate impact. Now with the departure of DiCaprio Brutal at that cornerback slot that I mentioned, I wish him nothing but the best. He started 33 games for the Big Red throughout his career and just ran a 4.38 40-yard dash at the Huskers Pro Day just last week. So I wish him all the best in the pros. That opens the door for some young guys. So here's some guys to keep your eye on at that other cornerback starting position. Quentin Newsom. Uh, he also made his first start versus Northwestern that same day that Miles Farmer did. And six foot four Braxton Clark. Now, there, there's other guys to keep your eye on. Don't worry. All right, there's other guys that are in the mix for playtime. But these are the two guys that stood out to me at this moment right here, right now. Once we start spring ball, once we see what's going on during fall camp, this may or may not change. But Quentin Newsom, who has a start under his belt versus Northwestern, or his first start, and six foot four sophomore Braxton Clark. That is phenomenal height for a corner. I mean, that is, that is awesome right there. So he should be able to get some jump balls. Now, he's coming back from an injury from a year ago. Some other guys to keep your eye on. Those are kind of the two front runners, as I mentioned, at this moment. A lot can change. Noah Pola Gates, talented 2019 recruit. Okay, and Adab Joseph, all right, will also be in the conversation for playtime as long as several other guys. There's freshmen who are on campus now who will be here for spring ball. There are other returning guys whose names I haven't mentioned, just trying to keep this, this list fairly short. But here's the deal. If the list gets longer or the names on the list change, I don't care. I'm going to say the appropriate names at the appropriate time, so I'm rooting for everybody. But those are the guys at this moment in time that kind of stood out to me personally. Could be wrong. We'll see. Now, the secondary played well last year. They didn't give up many big plays, many big passes. In fact, they were seventh in the country when it came to holding teams to not, uh, not big plays. That was proper English. But not giving up passes of 30 yards or more, basically. Okay. Now, the secondary itself also forced an average of one turnover a game all by itself, not including the other positions on defense. A secondary by itself forced an average of one turnover per game a season ago. That's pretty good. Now, in my opinion, they should be even better because they got a lot of these guys coming back. They do have some young, talented guys that are up and comers as well. They got, as I mentioned, a ton of experience. To me, this team should, this position group should be a strength for the Huskers, a strength of the defense, a strength of the team. There should be leaders in this position. Cam Taylor-Britt, Deontay Williams, Markel Dismuke, all three of them should be leaders on this team with their ability to make plays and the veteran experience that they have. Now, I'm going to put it back on them big boys up front because the secondary can only cover for so long. Eventually, the pass rush, the blitz, the front seven, the front three, the front four, got to get there. But as long as we can get a decent pass rush, I look forward to watching the secondary this year. Go Big Red Nose, remember to throw the bones. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.